hello hello everyone happy tuesday so i'm back with another video uh so this is some d and d gel polish it's in the color berry blue or blueberry uh i wanted it to be here before my birthday because i just needed to have options although i shouldn't always have options because i'm a libra and i'm very indecisive but this came a day after my birthday so i wound up uh soaking off my nails for my birthday just doing a whole new gel set and i use this color um so i haven't used the nail polish yet i'm not really a nail polish fanatic like i hate it not hate but i don't know at this point why I use gel like nail polish when you can use gel but anyway so these came a day after my birthday and because i rarely do my own nails on my channel I was like, let me just do another gel set and record it. So last time I used some gel glue from Nails Cat Cat in the video that I posted Friday. This video I'm using solid nail glue from BT Art Box. I still have these nails on. So I did this set like October 6th. It is now the 22nd. So it's been about... Let's see. Let's pull up the calendar. I want to say it's been about like two weeks. Yeah, so it's been about two weeks since I had these nails on. Um, I don't think I'm going to take them off just yet. Only because in like a couple of more weeks, I'm going to be going to that free demo for the Opre class. And I want to try to get some Opre nail tips and then do my nails with the Opre system. Um, we do have the Opre system at work. In order for us, like, we can do our own nails. We just have to pay for the product. I think we have to pay $16, which is not bad compared to, you know, the Opre system is, like, $120 something. And um, I think the tip box is, like, $25 a pack. So, yeah, in order to do my nails at work for $16 just to use the product, I'm for it. Um, it's just that at work, I never know when there's going to be a walk-in. Uh, when somebody's going to call last minute and schedule an appointment. Like, I can see my schedule for up until whatever day. So, let's take this week. Like, Saturday, I have a client at 10 o'clock. That can change. I can walk into work Saturday morning and then, because I have to be at 8.45, like 9 o'clock, there will be something on the board, 9.15, 9.45. Like, that's how fast it changed. Um... Like this Wednesday, I don't have any clients right now, but that can change. I can get a walk in. Somebody can call today. Somebody can call tomorrow before I walk in because tomorrow I start at three. So yeah, it's always up and up. Um, I know like my coworker did her nails last week and she just kind of was like, hey, you know, can you like block me off for this period? But um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I just rather do my nails at home because I take forever. It takes about like two hours to do my nails. So, although I would like to use the polishes that they have at work because um, some of them polishes are so pretty. They use D&D &D also. Rambling. But anyway, so I wanted to put my prep in this video. Um, so basically, I didn't need too much prep because I had just done my nails. It was just a little bit. Um, so, you know, buff. If you choose to clip or file your natural nails down, you're more than welcome to. To each his own what you choose that's your business do what you do um i go on with the mia secret nail dehydrator and the dehydrator and then the young nails protein bond um ooh, excuse me i gotta put like i gotta write a note for myself because when i go to the beauty the nail supply store i do need more dehydrator and extra bond not dehydrator i need the mia secret extra bond and then the young nails protein bond that is my holy grail. Um, one of like, she's like my nail sister. She told me this about like two years ago. I've been doing this two years ago. She actually has a channel, Jeannie G. So if you don't guys don't know who, who that is, I'll like link her um, YouTube channel. So yeah, me and her became very close over the last couple of years. And she was the one who told me to use the Mia Secret um system she told me do the extra bond twice and then go in with the young nails protein bond nails be lasting 
so yeah i just wanted to include my prep in this video and um then i only did a couple of nails using the bt art box because i wanted to show more of me using this color i felt like this this blue was just perfect for fall i mean you could get away with this blue any season but i felt like this was like the perfect fall blue and it matched my birthstone perfectly so um that's another reason why i wanted it and then Anywhere I went, everybody was like, oh my gosh, I love that blue. Where's that blue? Especially when I was at work, everybody was like, do we have that blue? Can you polish my nails with that blue? And I was like, sorry, we don't have it. Um, I did ask my manager to look into ordering it because a lot of people really wanted the blue. Um, they were like, if that's a color that I needed to like step me out of my comfort zone, it would be that. So yeah, that's why it's important to always have your nails done. So, yeah, I just did something simple because I'm always, sorry about the alarm. I'm always, if you guys are new here and if you guys have been here for a while, if you're new, I always had alarms going off in my videos. If you're OG, you know that I've always, I always have alarms going off. Um, but anyway, so um, I'm always like pressed for time when doing my nails. I think when I did this set, it was like almost midnight um i probably didn't go to bed till like one in the morning so i just did something simple and i really didn't even get a lot of pictures and videos with these nails um i did take like a literally quick video when i was at the pumpkin patch at my um staff event and that's it and i think i got like I did one video and like a couple of pictures and that's it. So yeah, I didn't even get too much footage with this video. Um, and then these nails didn't even last long. Like, not the nails, but the color. Because I wound up changing it last week. Um, because like I've been telling y'all, my nails have been shape-shifting because of the heat. Because I'm always cooking and doing laundry um so i actually googled like why do my soft gel nails melt and apparently i'm not the only one who has that problem um it's just people not talking about it i guess because brand ship deals and stuff like that i don't know but y'all know i'm going to tell y'all the truth so um i did see a post on threads if i could find it i'll um screenshot it and put it in the video um but yeah somebody was like they were doing they were drying they were taking stuff out the dryer and their nails have bent backwards so my nails don't necessarily bend backwards they kind of like go to the side and round out instead of square they look more round and um the last not this set but the last set it was so bad i should have took a picture so you guys can see what i'm talking about um but yeah so um, I was reading the comments and a lot of people were like, well, I'm a chef, I smoke weed, I be rolling blunts, I do this, I deal with hot stuff all the time, boiling water, this and that, and I use Opre and I've never had that issue. Um, so I think somebody said the only time they had the, that issue when they were lighting something up and they had their nail like in the fire or whatever, something like that. Anyway, I'll link it. It was on threads many moons ago i'll link it and show you guys but it was just glad to see like i know i'm not tripping i think because i used to use rubber base coat over my nail tips that i didn't have that issue um because i just started noticing it this year because this year is like um i haven't like used rubber base gel in forever because i need more but yeah so um i've been talking to you know some of my nail friends they were like what tips do you use Currently, I have the McCart um, Pump Up tips. I don't even know what McCart be doing because they, like, revamped so many times within the past few years. So, I haven't checked to see what they're selling, what they're not selling. But in this video, these are the McCart Pump Up tips. The last video were tips from Nails Cat Cat. Um, and I had always used her nails. So, I didn't know why they were, like, um, shape-shifting like that. But when i used her nails i would always use her rubber base gel um i would use like the clear but like i said i ran out so yeah um i'm trying to keep these nails on until i go to the nail supply store um they should last so yeah and then i'll have a video i'll probably do a nail haul 
of everything that I bought buy when I do go to the nail supply store because I cannot go to the nail supply store and just not get nothing. I have to buy stuff. So I'll do a nail haul about that and then I'll do a video with the opera and yeah. So I did see somebody on TikTok say that October should be for spooky nails and November should be for fall nails. She was like my unpopular opinion. And I've been sleeping on that. And I was like, that makes sense. Like, October should definitely be spooky nails or breast cancer nails um, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, that makes sense. Like, October should be dedicated to breast cancer awareness. Um, also, um, I, there's, I forgot what day in October, but October is also, like, um, Infant Loss Awareness Month. Like, um... If you've ever had like a stillborn or miscarriage, there's a certain day where at like 7 p.m. I can't remember what day, but I used to go to a walk every year when I was in New York. Um, it was basically a foundation for moms in New York, like kind of like the tri-state area to come walk for all the babies that have um, been lost due to miscarriage, stillborn. Um, I'm not sure whatever the cases are, but yeah. So, um, I know that's in October, but it doesn't really get talked about as much as breast cancer, um, and, you know, Halloween. And then I just found out, like, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, too. I felt that was more like April, but I'm not sure. I don't know. If, I feel like everything changes every year. But I do agree with her. October should be spooky nails or breast cancer awareness, and then November should definitely be fall. Um, people in the comments are saying that makes sense for Thanksgiving. I know I've been looking at my set that I want to do, design that I want to do for Thanksgiving. I've been thinking about doing airbrush um, with airbrush marble. I've done it on my channel with the ocean nails. I really want to do it with um, like fall colors. I'm not sure what type of fall colors. I'm also looking into milky white. I don't know. I feel like I should probably wait on the milky white. Excuse me. For um like Christmas. I don't know. But I also need to start um uh, doing like a pillow of base coat. Because it feels like every two weeks I am changing the color on my nails. I don't necessarily need to soak off and redo the nails. I just need to, uh what you call it, like change the design so and i probably need to start using my pillow of base coat um someone told me a base coat on amazon i want to say it's moron i can't find it on my amazon i don't know i think amazon might be different per region because what am i like northeast like i'm i know i'm north but i think there's like specific i think i'm northeast because i'm like new jersey tri-state area whatever um, but I think she's in Florida somewhere. So I don't, all I know is that's the South. I don't know if that's Southeast or whatever. Like, I don't know. Depending on where you guys are from, let me know in the comments. Like if you're, if you ever like talk to somebody and they be like, oh, hey, order this on Amazon and you can't find it. And then they're in a different region. Like I know international kind of works that way. Cause some things we can't get or like the States can get, but sorry, I keep hitting the mic. The states can get, but, like, international countries can't get. Um, probably because of shipping fees and all that stuff. But, yeah, y'all. Um, so, right here, I'm just using the polish. I did use two coats. I only show one coat. Um, me going in with a liner brush around the cuticle and the side walls, it just makes such a difference, especially when my nails grow out. Now, on my right hand, sometimes it gets a little tricky because I am right-handed. I'm not left-handed. So, I'll be shaking like a stripper when I'm trying to do my nails on my right hand. But this color is so gorgeous. I found it on Amazon. Um, it comes with the dual. I think I paid $17. I'm not sure how much it is on the D&D website. Actually, I'm about to look it up for y'all. Um, I have yet to order from the D&D &D website. I don't have clientele like that. So, I'm really, you know, don't really be buying um, polish like that. Especially, it's just me. So, uh, yeah. But I'm looking on the... Oh, it's only $8. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's way cheaper on their website compared to Amazon. So, um, after I finish like doing the voiceover and editing this video, 
I'm going to post some screenshots throughout the video for you guys because on Amazon, I paid $17, I guess, supply and demand. Um, and then on, on their website, it's $12. Yeah, so Amazon definitely upcharged $5 more. So, but I don't know what the shipping looks like on um D, D website so yeah and currently right now they have 40 percent off their website uh 40 percent off with cold latte so yeah um i know like my classmate has ordered from D, &D because she does nails um you know she doesn't work in a salon she's like home-based so, you know, she has clientele, so that would work for her. But for me, who get clients mobily here, there, and everywhere, it doesn't really make sense for me to have colors. And most of the time, the clients don't want, um, like, gel polish. Um, they want nail polish, and they want, like, you know, nude colors. Like, some of the colors that I have, they'd be like, oh, no, that's too bright. Because, you know, they're, like, seasoned sugars. So, yeah, so I'm going to just finish letting y'all watch you know, this whole, I forgot what I was going to say, but basically me painting my nails and all that good stuff. And, um, I should have the next video out pretty soon. Basically it's me doing color change and a little bit of a fill in. Um, although I didn't get to record me doing the fill in, I'm sorry, but yeah. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Tuesday and I will see you in the next one. Be good to you, be good to others. Bye.